Hello, 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 and happy Friday to all of my amazing Scorpios. Let's get right into your reading. Happy Mercury retrograde to all of you Scorpios out there. Happy Mercury retrograde. It doesn't have to be as intense as a lot of people think it is. We currently have three planets that are retrograde, Mercury, Uranus, and Venus are retrograde. Plus, we're coming up on a full moon. So let's get into your reading. Let's get into your general reading. Let's go. Again, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description bar. Let's go. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Scorpios as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where my Scorpios need to take action. What information do we have for my Scorpios? Let's see. Scorpios, let's see what your cards have to say. Plus, we want to talk a little bit about the number 56, which reduces to 11. Looks like justice is in your favor, right off the cuff. Somebody going through a divorce? What in the world? All right. Justice and lover's card. All right. Somebody may be going through a divorce. Only take what resonates with you, right? Only take what resonates with you. I'm only going to give you one scenario in this. I see you balancing out your own daily affairs, but I do see somebody getting, um, you know, favor in, in a divorce. If it is, if you are in fact going through a divorce, if you're not going through a divorce, again, this is really about you learning how to balance out your own energy. A lot of you all have been in hermit mode. This, this card is attached to Virgo, where you've just been listening, just receiving messages from God. What is God trying to tell you? A lot of you all have been very, very patient. And in this hermit mode, you all have decided, and again, this is if you're not going through a divorce, so we're clear. It, you all have are been have been deciding what you need to let go, what you need to let go of. You've been very patient with your process. This is attached to um, the hangman. I see a lot of you all walking away from the depth of emotions that you had, depth of emotions that you had with um, situations that really woke you up. You can look at it as like somebody burned you. It could have been Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But again, you can look at it like they burned you, but it's more or less I've been enlightened. Emotionally, I'm not even attached to this anymore, right? And I see a lot of you all are wiser now looking back at your, over your life and seeing, I should have listened to my intuition. My intuition told me X, Y, and Z. I should have listened to my intuition, right? So again, you can see it as I've been enlightened or I've been burned. It's your choice, right? Hopefully you're choosing the high road and say, I've been enlightened instead of being burned because maybe you needed to, you know, maybe, maybe that somebody need to put some fire up under you to move on so you can start listening to your highest selves, right? But you did find that out in your hermit mode to listen to your higher selves and balance out your own energy. And this right here really is about embracing all sides of yourselves. If you remember... Um, if you remember when we talked about the number 11, which is the justice card, when we talked about the number 11 and I said, you see 11s everywhere all around you, including in the number 56. Remember? So the number 56 is a highly sensitive number. It means that you need to balance your desire for adventure and freedom with strong need for love, home and faith. It also means that deep within you, you carry firm convictions that are based on truth and peace. Yes. Balancing out your energy and walking away from the depth of emotions that you have for things, especially after it has been exposed as an energy that is um, manipulative, an energy that is a liar. Um, any energy that has been exposed that doesn't align with who you are, or that can embarrass you, who could you know, tarnish your image, you know, that you created your public image and just who you are behind closed doors. Anything that doesn't align with that, you need to walk away from it emotionally. Just no more hope in that. Just like, nah, it, mm, nope. And you're going to feel a thousand percent better. You work too hard to, you've worked too hard to invest in yourself and also in, um, and it's going to show in your money to not be attached to certain energies. Really, just not even being attached to certain energies. And I'm seeing somebody looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to your money. So again, you're looking for 
you're looking for very healthy outlets. Like since you're severed ties with this thing, now you're looking for very healthy outlets to fill up that time and space. Because this is really an intense death rebirth for some of you all, because you all love very hard, you love very deep. And so severing ties with this energy, whether it is a significant other, whether it is a lover, whether it is um, a job, whatever it is that you're severing ties with, this has been very intense death, rebirth, transformation, which is what this full moon is about, is highlighting areas in your life that you need to just go ahead and sever ties with all together and just being patient with this healing process, right? Plus you have a guardian angel watching over you. Yeah, this wolf moon is at one of the coldest periods of, um, during one of the coldest times. You're going to need this warmth around you just to gonna keep you warm. This is uh, this is attached to Sagittarius. And I'm talking about keeping your heart warm, you know, so you don't grow cold and bitter and angry and frustrated and all of those other things. In the meantime, more of this is coming your way. So we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of, like I said, a lot of growth here, The a lot of energy of money that's coming your way. Because again, you've invested in yourself, so you don't want to tarnish your inner your image dealing with somebody who is holding on to some secrets and somebody who is just not i don't even want to spend too, too much time on that energy <laughs> i don't uh scorpio because it's not worth it it really isn't worth it and plus you already know better you've been in hermit mode so you already know what you're dealing with so it's just time to sever ties with it it really is time to sever ties with it so again as intense as it's going to be on the other side of that you know you're going to be grateful the number 11 again there's too many signs that are coming through for you all to go ahead and sever ties with this thing. Grab your gemstones and crystals and connect with them. And by the way, you're going to be supercharging them anyway. <laughs> so one of them that you want to pick up is this pink one right here. This rose quartz is going to help you to forgive that person. It's going to help you to forgive yourself. It's also going to help attract new love into your life if that's what you're interested in. But yeah. You want to move on from the depth of the emotions because that person is a master manipulator. Time to have faith in your dreams. Yes, time to have faith in your dreams. Somebody has been thinking about um, healing other people. Helping to heal other people through their pain, their intense pain, which can be really heartbreaking. Almost giving somebody chest pains. It hurt so bad. That's what you want to focus on. You've been investing way too much in your spiritual growth and listening to your intuition. And now that you're, you know, you are receiving, you're in receiving mode. Because again, Virgo and Gemini's, these two um, signs right here, their ruling planet just went retrograde today. So this is what you want to sever out. You want to be able to balance out when to, when to speak and when to just receive, like when to give it energy and when to receive energy from most high. That's what you want to do, but that's what you're receiving energy from. And just be patient with this whole process. Mercury is going to be retrograde for a while, so you don't need to rush into anything. But the full moon is in a couple of days, so somebody's going to be making some decision to sever ties with it and just be like, you know what, it may hurt me, but I'm going to sever ties and I'm moving on. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in a couple of days, Scorpios. Bye.